Hello everyone, I'm here at uh, Chill Hop's second birthday with... Nick. <laughs> he's a bit mute, I think he's still hung over from yesterday. <laughs> anyway, it's your second birthday, so happy birthday to Chill Thank Hops. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Live directing my camera woman. Uh, so, I brought something special for you from Canada. This is a spruce tip beer. Uh, there's a lot of like home brewing recipes that you can find for this stuff, it's kind of like an old classic. Uh, this basically started in Canada. They would take the spruce tips off the fresh spruce needles at the end of the branches. Anyway, and they'd mix it with wheat and dandelions and uh, sugar, and then they put yeast in it, and that was like spruce beer. Uh, this lives on with like normal beer with barley, and then they just put the spruce tips in the boil. So it's like a offshoot of. The, originally, it would have been like super fucking sprucey. The so. spruce tip is the actual style. It's, I imagine this is just like an amber ale. I had one uh, a month ago. It's amberish, so yeah. It's gonna be a maltier, but yeah, those spruce tips. Yeah, I want to see what he thinks about it. You've heard of this beer before? Yeah, so in the homebrewing circle, it's all on YouTube, I guess. Uh, there's heaps of videos, but we don't have spruce tips where I'm from. You don't have spruce in Australia? Do you have any coniferous trees there? Like with the I mean, I haven't seen it in New Zealand or Australia, so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's open it. Let's see what happens. Awesome. Just got a different name. <laughs> Nick had to look for 10 minutes for this bottle opener. May I? Yeah. Thank you. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, that's dark. <laughs> it's like molasses. And... and we'll save some for our uh, lovely camera woman. <laughs> oh wow. It really does smell like there's a bunch of like caramel and just dark goodness in here. Cheers, bud. Split Rail Brewing. I went to your brewery when I was there. A town of 900 people. They still have a brewery in Canada, a town of 900 people. Wow. What do you think? It reminds me of, yeah, um, an old school brown ale, if that's what we would, we would Yeah, it is very, like an amber, uh, a little darker than that. A brown What's, is a good example. Is that um, uh, the famous one from Newcastle? Newcastle Brown. <laughs> What's that brown ale from Newcastle? That, ah! that, um, <laughs> but the old school recipe before they added fake sugar or syrup or whatever. Okay. So it's like that. I wouldn't say I don't know what the spruce is into. Yeah, Maybe I'm gonna completely be honest with everyone and say I actually don't know what spruce tastes like. Think of pine though. It's similar to that. But yeah, like it's not overwhelming. I wish they'd honestly just like put a shit ton. Would, would you say that? I mean, this. That's maybe the hoppiness. There's not really hops in this, it's just spruce. Would that be? Uh, Canadians is? don't put. Oh no, they do put the ingredients list on here, but they're not legally supposed to. Or they don't legally have to, I should say. Water, barley, spruce, dips, hops contains barley. I love allergen warnings. Water, barley, spruce, hops contains barley. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, cool. I quite like it. I wouldn't say I would drink this. I love how it reminds me of a beer he used to like. So it's hitting that that emotion. <laughs> so that's good. It's yeah. Old school. Right? Yeah. As much as I don't really know what spruce tastes like, this traveled halfway around the world. Yeah. This is actually the last bottle of Canadian beer I have. I've shared actually, all the Actually, I do ones, like so. it. The more, the more I have it, the more I like it. It's warming. It warms you up a bit. I should say that. It's not good because it's like 32 degrees in Seoul right now. <laughs> So it doesn't, doesn't. Hey, the temperature is slowly going down, so let's all be grateful this, for the minor this, things. This yeah. just came from the fridge? It's still cold. I had a ice pack, I had the, you know when you get a pizza and it comes in that silver bag? One of those, yeah. Alright, thanks Nick! Let's enjoy this and let's give the camera woman some.